so like i always kind of felt that like taking notes was like a hurdle towards like actual progress towards anything and for a while i spent time just like messing around with software like notion obsidian google docs um even like regular notebooks just to store my ideas but none of them serve me as well as emacs does so today i'm just going to kind of like run you through how i take notes in emacs and store my ideas thoughts and notes so at first you might kind of be like overwhelmed with like what you're looking at right now but i'll kind of just take you through it um so if you're familiar with like something like obsidian you'll kind of be familiar with these like nodes and orgrom has this really cool thing called ui mode and that basically just allows you to like visualize all your nodes in this space here and you can kind of see like i don't really have much yet but it's kind of bound to fill up the more notes you take um on the right here you can see i have emacs open and i'm using doom emacs as my framework and that basically just allows me to do things like evil mode, where I can use like vim binds to, um, to control and go through my notes. So now let's say I want to find a node now, right? All I have to do is press space and F and N for notes, F for find. And now I see all my nodes here. And let's say I want to go on one, right? Let's say Atomic Habits. Boom. Now I'm in the Atomic Habits node. And here you can see all the content. Now you're probably wondering by this point, like, how do I create a node first off and like why use org over other like note taking apps? Now for this example, I'll just go back and I'll basically just find uh, my YouTube notes <clears throat> and that's going to be over here. And then um, I'll just kind of show you how you can create references to new notes. And to do that, all you need to do is press space and I and what that stands for is notes and then insert. And here I can either insert an existing node or create a new one. So let's say I want to create a new one, right? Uh, for this example, I'll just use video backlog, right? So let's see video backlog as my new node. And then now it's asking for a capture template. So let's just say for now, let's just say main. Right? And then as you see, I have a new node in the UI here and it's been referenced in the YouTube node now. So let's just add that. And now when I press enter on this, here's my new org note. And after saving that, you can now see that video backlog has actually been referenced to the YouTube parent node. And now it's connected on my UI graph here, which is great. So let's go back here. <clears throat> so I've kind of gone over like the rudimentary stuff, but I want to show you why I actually find org so great. And part of that is due to org agenda, which I'll show in a minute. But for this example, let's just create some like basic headings and subheadings, right? Using asterisks. So let's just say videos and we can have video idea one, video idea two. Now what I can actually add to these subheadings are these to do states. And what's so great about to do states is basically if I press space, right? MT, that allows me to actually change the state of whatever task it is, right? So I can put it to wait. I can put it to idea, I can put it to done if I finish the task, right? So really, really useful. And what this basically allows me to do is like visualize what I need to get done. Now, something that's even more great is I, I can actually use the command space MD, right? To go to deadlines, right? And set a calendar deadline for that task. So for now, let's just set it the deadline as today. Now, let's say I want to open org agenda now, right? To see this to do. All I have to do is press space OAA. And that basically brings up the org agenda, right? And as you see, I now have a deadline on Thursday for that video idea at the end of the, uh, for that day, right? And you can kind of see like my other to-dos from other uh, note files. And yeah, it's just great. I can see what I need to get done today. I can see what I can get done for the week uh, from all my notes. And at the same time, I can also open up space OAAN to see all my to-dos as well, uh, not just deadline tasks um just all my to do's as well and i can even select the note from here right so uh while i'm starting this channel video boom click on here it brings it up now another really cool feature is something called dailies which is like something i use a lot and basically what that allows you to do is create an org file for whatever day it is and it makes it really useful to like journal or like create to do's for that certain day so all i really have to do is press command x uh go to dailies and boom I'm onto the dailies for that day, right? And let's just say today. <clears throat> and 
and I could create task one and, and basically start writing out my tasks. And it's just honestly just great. And <clears throat> it has a, lo a lot of little things like this where you can even like check off tasks with X and stuff. There's so much to it, guys. Org is so great. Emacs is so great. Now for syncing notes, I've never really had an issue. I just use sync thing. And then also GitHub is an option, right? So if you want to look at notes from like other devices, it's fairly straightforward to set up. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave a video below on sync thing if you're kind of interested in that. But I mean, yeah, that's that's org mode, guys. And that's how I use it. So yeah, if you're like a CS student or just like interested in learning new technologies, uh, hopefully you uh, consider giving Emacs a try after watching this. And if you did find this useful, I'm planning on creating like a more like general like workflow type of video that includes like how I code and just some like common things I use day to day. Um, but yeah, uh, have a great day.